Hi everyone, Elliot here. If you're having trouble losing audio sync in your video clips, then watch this video to figure out how to fix it. And by losing audio sync, what I mean is that when you bring those video clips into your editing timeline, that what you hear in the audio track begins to no longer match what you can see on screen. And that gets worse as you play through the clip. If that applies to you, then follow these steps. If not, then please continue as you were before. Um, but if you're having audio sync issues, this is how to fix it. You're going to need a piece of software called Handbrake. You can get it from this URL here. I'll also post this in the Google Plus uh, post. It's available for Windows and Mac, so download and install that, and then open the software. It will immediately ask you which video clip you want to transcode. You can also select multiple at one time. If you find that all your clips are losing sync, then you can batch edit them and go for a drink or go for dinner or whatever and come back and they'll all be done. So you can open up your video clip. It will ask you for a destination. By default it just goes to the desktop. Format, choose MP4. Video codec, we want MPEG4. And then frame rate, this is the critical part that's causing all the issues um, with sync. What we want is constant frame rate and we want to change that to 29.97 NTSC video. Now for the quality uh, section, frame, um, Handbrake suggests anything between 22 and 1. When you move the slider to the left, quality decreases and the file becomes more compressed. And 22, I found that the file size was substantially smaller than the original file recorded by the phone. And 1, the file size was about double. So I found the optimum for me was around 3 just so I'm editing with these files that I'm creating, so I want them um, pretty good quality. If I was exporting to something to the web or I really needed that file size down, I'd then bring that up to 22 and compress it. But for now, I'm going to keep it at 3 just to keep um, a reasonably good quality. And now it's probably ready to run, so I just hit Start. It will run through and transcode the clip. And then it'll give you a dialog box, press OK. And then you can navigate to the clip you've made. And now when you bring in this clip into your editing software, you should have no more syncing issues. Let me know if uh, you're still having problems and I'll try and look into it. If not, then good luck with the, what's left of week one and I will see you next week.